Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can import Gmail emails into another Gmail account. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. You can choose to import any emails from one Gmail account into a different one using a dedicated email import process. This will only add historical emails, however, plus any emails received in the next 30 days from your other Gmail account. I'm already logged into the Gmail account I want to import emails into. I now need to go into the settings section in this Gmail account. I'll move my mouse to the top right of the Gmail inbox. You'll see there's a number of icons shown here, but the one I'm interested in is the cog or gear icon for the settings section. Let's click on that. A panel then opens that shows some of the more common settings changes you can make in Gmail, but we need to go into the details settings of Gmail. So I'm going to click on the See All Settings button at the top of the panel. A new window then opens showing a number of heading tabs, but the one we're interested in is Accounts and Import. Let's click on that once to open it. A new page is then shown, and if I move down that page a little, you'll see a section called Import Mail and Contacts. I can start the Gmail import process by clicking on the blue Import Mail link. A window then opens that asks me to enter the email address for my other Gmail account. I'll quickly do this and click on the Continue button to move on to the next stage of the import process. Gmail then checks that the email entered is valid. Depending on your Chrome settings, you may get a pop-up block or error message at this stage of the process. Don't worry if you do. Check out the Wago guide shown above that explains how to solve this problem. In my case, I have pop-up blockers turned off in Chrome, so Gmail now asks me to confirm if I want to proceed with the login process for Gmail. Click on the Continue button to do that. A new window now opens presented by Gmail, which is displaying your other Gmail email address. I still need to sign in, however, and I can do that by clicking on the email address. This displays a password entry page for your other Gmail account. I'll quickly add that and click on the blue Next button to continue. I'm now asked to confirm that I agree that the import process for Gmail can have access to my other Gmail account's emails and contacts. You must confirm this in order to proceed with the import. Gmail confirms that the authentication process was successful. I can close this window by clicking on the small X in the corner. Finally, I'm asked to confirm the import options I want to use for Gmail. I can choose to import all of my contacts, all of my historical emails, and to continue to receive my Gmail emails for the next 30 days. I'm happy with those options, so I'll click on the Start Import button to begin the import process. Gmail then confirms that the import process has started and can take a number of hours to complete. I can now also close this window by clicking on the OK button. You'll see that my other Gmail email address has also now been added to the Import Mail and Contacts section of Settings. I hope you found this Wago Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.